One of them told me he thinks Reyes, Spain's best boxer for 30 years. He won the Boxham International in Castellón de la Plana yes. in March, beating the Rio Olympic silver medalist Vasily Levitt 4 1 on points. He also defeated Christian Philip 5 0, unanimous points decision in the first round. His opponent is Kirill Afanasev from Ireland, turned 29 last month. He defeated Georgia's Nikolos Begatze. 4-1 in London last year but Reyes unseeded but real prospects you'd think of a medal in Tokyo he's got to get through this first and the winner of this contest faces the number two seed world bronze medalist Radoslav Pantaleev of Bulgaria Reyes in the red Afanasev in the blue Afanasev one of seven from the Irish team going today. And Afanasev on the front foot early on. just sizing each other up in the early exchanges first minute just doing uh, scouting and I can already see the hand speed from Reyes Panasev doing a good job of cutting down the ring though. Approaching the midway point of round one. Both men trying to use the jab. bad from the Irishman as you said he's, he's done a nice nice job of cutting angles Fanasev taking a couple of these shots on the gloves Good defense from the Irishman Certainly doesn't seem overawed against the Spaniard who has something of a reputation. Punching body shot from Reyes. Anasev coming forward. Got Reyes against the ropes momentarily. 10 seconds to go in round one. And there is the bell. Reyes uh, staying out of the way some, um, scoring here and there, but I would say the busier was uh, the man in the blue corner. Just depends on uh, the eye of the judges. Thought here in the closing seconds. Afanasev uh, also maybe added to his case. I thought Reyes landed the slightly cleaner shots. Very little in the opening round. Yes. Well, that ten wasn't eight. how I saw it. A 10 8, that's. I don't get that at all, no. I have to say. No. Take it out. And that has uh, such an influence on a tight fight, that 10-8. Round two. There we go. I'd feel slightly aggrieved if I was in the Irish corner seeing that, because... 
Well, as you I said, think Reyes might have won the round, but a 10-8 is... No, there wasn't much in the in the round to wasn't a dominant round by any stretch. Alisev gets through with a right. Not had a stoppage yet, but we are in the land of the tall trees here. We are. Fanasev doing some decent work here. Reyes not really landing cleanly. Neither are landing cleanly. It's uh, some activity, but a lot of gloves. Slightly better from Reyes here. Midway through the contest. There's a good body shot with the left. Uh, Reyes uh, has uh, found the mark a few times here. He is warming to his task. It's far from dominant, but he is doing enough, certainly. And now the jab landing with Good accuracy from Reyes. Switching the attack head to body. Bit of a wild swing from Reyes there. Not really much coming from Afanasev now. No, he seems a bit more subdued. There goes the bell for the end of round two and little doubt that Reyes is on top here. Still not sure how one judge gave that first round 10-8. I actually thought Reyes had a better round in round two. I agree. So is that a 10-7? <laughs> I'm afraid to look. <laughs> I mean, it's not—it's not, it's not one-sided. No, not at all. It's a—it's a, you know, what you might expect in a in a pressure-packed stepping stone to an Olympic spot between two talents. There's really nobody's dominating, but I, I think it's a—it's a—it's a boxing win so far for Reyes and uh, another 10-8. Judge five clearly likes what he sees no, from but Reyes. It, I mean, at this point, it's. You know, does, isn't a 10 8 a clear dominant knockdown? Or, I mean, you, there has to be something really untoward going on to get a 10 8. We did have this discussion before, Tom. I mean, I, I personally, I don't think there are enough 10 8s given. Okay. Because I think 10 9 is close, 10 8 is. Have we seen a 10 8 won. here in the first two rounds? No. Okay. I, I wouldn't say so. Generally, I don't think enough 10 8s are given out. But. I can't fathom a 10-8 so right, far. Right, right. In, in I, I agree. Sometimes the, the, the tendency would be in a, in a round dominated, they would, they'd give him the win 10-9. But I, 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 I dare say I've never seen, uh, you know, two more tepid rounds with a 10-8. I mean, there just there was nothing where we even got excited about a flurry or a knockdown or dazing or anything. But point remains that... Uh, Reyes is, is doing what he has to do, and that's, that's his job. He has to go out and impress. And he is in this he round. He is, absolutely. He's putting the punches together, combinations, and Afanasev 
looking a little overmatched now in this third round. He's acquitted himself well up to now, but Reyes showing the class that we know he has. And the good news is those double 10 eight likely won't, won't determine the winner. No. You know, I, I think the flow will, unless things change in a hurry here, the flow will go to Reyes, and it, whether 10-9 or 10-8, it wouldn't matter. Vanasev landed a decent right hand there. He's going to need something uh, big out of the left or the right here. Needs a stoppage. Yes. Well, one judge has him four points down. Just over a minute to go for Afanasev to find a knockout punch from somewhere. Reyes looks a bit too clever to be drawn into that type of situation. Good variety of shots from the Spaniard. He doesn't need to take the round, but uh, it appears that he, he is. Thought it was a bit of a slow start from Reyes, but he's definitely improved as the bout has gone on. And it's going to be a comfortable win. Yes, it will. For Emmanuel Reyes will be a unanimous decision. After a little bit of a, like you mentioned, the dodgy start, he, he came more comfortable and got into his flow, and then uh, in round three, he just took care of uh, just the three minutes. And uh, this is long since over. Is there another 10-8? I guess that would be the, uh, the drama for me. <laughs> Could be. Never looked in any danger. Really, Reyes. And I'm looking forward to seeing him take on Radoslav Pantaleev, the number two seed. Pantaleev, who's a no-nonsense, likes to get in there. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of points by unanimous decision in the red corner representing Spain, Emmanuel Reyes Black. No doubt about nope. your winner. And Emmanuel Reyes, one win away from Tokyo 2020, but he's got a taller order coming up because he's up against the world bronze medalist from Bulgaria, Radoslav Pantaleev. The number two seed, Pantaleev, who received a walkover to the quarterfinals over Poland's Mateusz Masternak. Reyes, he has beaten top quality opposition before, as we see 